and I've gone to my login here on the Velostrum website. I've clicked download Velostrum 161 full and then the Google Drive thing has come up. I've clicked download anyway and then it comes up with this little dialog asking me what I want to do. Now I do not want to automatically open it with the archive utility. I just want to save the file. Click OK and that will download and save the file. So that's the first step and that will go into my downloads directory. So I shall be back in a moment with the second step which is how you remove the quarantine data from the file so that it doesn't quarantine it and stop the patcher from working when you start the lost drone. Okay, so here we are in a terminal prompt and uh, I've just gone to, you know, if you want to open a terminal prompt then you can go to applications here, utilities and then terminal is in here, there, terminal. So that opens your terminal prompt. So let's go back to my downloads directory, you can see this is the file I've downloaded, velostrone161release.zip, zip archive. So in my terminal, this is where I want to remove the quarantine flag from that zip archive. So the first thing I need to do is I need to find that. So if you do a cd slash, that will take you to the root. You do an ls, then you'll get something like this. And we want to go to users and then our username. So go to users, do an ls. And my username is Backcode Games. CD Backcode Games. Change that directory. And then in here, you can see here is the downloads directory. I'm doing ls to list the files. There's the downloads directory. So it's CD downloads. Ls again. And now we see the file that I want to work on. So in here, I can now type x atrib and let's let's get this right etc what's the drone there we go if you hit tab when you typed part of a name it will fill in the rest for you and you can see here it's got the quarantine flag on it and that's what i want to remove so to remove that you do etc minus D for delete com dot apple dot quarantine and then it's the Velostron file I can just type capital V and hit tab to fill it in and now if I just hit the up arrow on my keyboard it will show you previous commands and if I just do the etc again on the zip file, you can now see that it's no longer quarantined. So at this point, you can now go up here and uh, do your open with archive utility uh, or double click it if that's what you want to do. And that will unpack that and then it will run fine without coming up with the patch version file error.